Hello my loves, it's David here, and today I just wanted to talk about manifesting your dreams and creating your reality through mindfulness and law of attraction. Before I start, I just want to quickly disclaim that I am not a subject matter expert on this by any means. I'm actually just at the beginning of my own journey and accomplishing my own goals. That said, through the process of researching things to make this video and all the teaching moments that I've had in my life thus far, I feel like I've been able to narrow down my dream chasing to just a few key steps that have really started to benefit me the past few months. So without further ado, here are the top two things that I do to manifest my dreams. First things first, the most important thing that I have learned about manifesting my dreams is a pretty profound concept, and it can be life-changing. It is that at any moment, I am able to choose to be that higher version of myself that I have always wanted to be. This is the golden ticket. The best way to explain this is this. Imagine that there are an infinite amount of different versions of you out there living in different parallel universes, most of the other versions of you are similar, if not identical, to the version of you in this universe. But some of those versions may have already accomplished different things that you've always wanted to do. For instance, maybe one of them knows how to play an instrument, or you've always wanted to play or one of them quit their job and moved to Costa Rica, or one of them is giving back and teaching children in need. The key thing to realize is that in order for those other versions to get where they are today, they had to have made a decision, a choice to do so. They didn't just get to where they are now without making a choice in their own universe. What is crazy, though, is that we have the ability to choose which version of us we want to be in this universe. We have the opportunity to be the version of us that does it all. We just have to choose, moment to moment, to do things in this universe that align ourselves with that version that we look up to the most. And by making this choice, we actually become that higher version of ourselves because that is exactly what the other version is doing. It's making choices. This is perhaps the single greatest blessing of our universe and it's also one of the biggest blessings of being a privileged person is having freedom of choice to align ourselves with our higher self and by doing so, we actually are that higher self. One example in my own life is that I've always had this self-limiting belief that I'm small and skinny and therefore will never be a fit, handsome, attractive person. But one day recently, I realized that there's probably a David Schreiber out there who is just super lean, super built, really attractive, and I could actually align with that version right now if I just decided to go and work out and focus on my body more. And so now I look forward to working out because it not only feels great and beneficial to my mind and my body, but I feel a sense of elevation vertically because all of a sudden I feel like I'm living in a separate reality of David Schreiber. There's still a version of David Schreiber out there in a different universe that still believes that, you know, he wants to be skinny. But in this universe, I'm now a higher version of myself when I'm working out because I'm accomplishing things that align myself with the version that I look up to. It is as simple as choosing in this exact moment to do in things that I want to do in the future. I bring my future self and my someday to right now and it feels amazing. If you're having any sort of hesitation about this, there's two things. First, it's your mind that is telling you you can't do it or that you are incapable and that is not your true self. Our minds are scared of this idea of vertical elevation. It wants you to stay grounded and work linearly and putting your time until things just happen. 
don't listen to your mind. Listen to your soul. Things don't, don't just happen. If your soul is telling you to drop your homework and go for a bike ride to do, or, you know, want to go see the sunset, don't think twice about it. Second, if your mind is holding you back, you can trick it by telling you, telling it you are already this higher version, even if you haven't taken the steps to carrying out the choice. When your mind tries to tell you you can't do it, you can disregard it because you know that you are greater than it and your current state. And then you just go and you do whatever the higher version would do. This is incredibly helpful if your choice is letting go of a bad habit because your mind will be constantly ringing and you will have to tell it that you are the higher version right now. You don't do those things anymore. And this brings me to my second big point, which is personal forgiveness. This can be just as challenging as making a choice, but equally as profound. Forgiveness is giving yourself the space to be imperfect and to be a lower version of yourself. We can't expect ourselves to be that higher version all the time. This is just impossible. Even the highest versions of ourselves in those other universes have equally as many moments of being a lower self. For instance, I do not work out every single day. I actually probably skip my workout more days than I accomplish it. On these days, it's really, really easy for my mind to start criticizing myself, even to this point of self-deprecating thoughts like, how do you expect to be that higher version of yourself if you skip days? This is completely contradictory to what I was saying before, and it's imperative that you understand the difference between what your mind is telling you and what is actually happening. The difference is that I am not becoming or training to be a higher version of myself when I do these things. There is not some end goal. Instead, I am immediately that higher self when I do the things that align with it. The act of doing is what allows me to be that version, not some crazy self-disciplined thing where I can't mess up and miss a day in order to accomplish my goals. Instead, every moment that I make a choice to do something that I want to do in the future, I am that higher self. Every moment that I skip, I merely miss an opportunity, but that is okay. And this is where the forgiveness comes in because by taking a moment, usually at the end of my days, to forgive myself for any missed opportunities and, and genuinely feeling that compassion and care for myself, I am not only letting go of the critical part of my mind, but also the forgiveness itself is another way to align with the higher self. This is crazy too. Forgiveness is another tool, and if you think about it, forgiveness is a choice. So it makes sense that it too is in alignment. Forgiveness is like a get out of jail free card because no matter how your day goes, even if you don't have a single good moment, you can always end on top and have that one moment. Plus, if you do it right before you go to bed, it can align you as you try to fall asleep. So your head isn't racing with all these critical thoughts as you try to go to bed and you wake up for the new day feeling ready to go. Making choices and forgiveness go hand in hand. And if you don't know exactly how you are going to forgive yourself, one of the best ways that I've found to forgiving is a quick stretching routine. It releases any tight muscles in your body from your day, and it also allows any built-up emotions that you had throughout your day to be released as well. It's easy to forget that emotions are actually just chemical hormones that are in your body, and these chemicals will build up if you don't deal with them. So stretching out your hips and your glutes and your upper back and your lower back and your ankles, this will release these built up emotions. Another way is to give yourself a foot massage. 
as if someone else was doing it and say out loud like I forgive you for the missed opportunities that I had today or the things that I didn't accomplish. This quick five minute exercise will bring so much positive change to your night and your morning routines and throughout the rest of your day really. So there you go, two incredible tools for you to take your goals and your aspirations and your future dreams, your someday, and make them right now. There does not need to be a someday. We do not need to wait around for what we are meant to accomplish in our lives. And it's taken me 22 years to learn this. And I hope that each and every one of you feels inspired to get up and do something that you've always wanted to do right now. Hi there, wonderful human. Thank you so much for listening and sticking around at the end of this video. If you liked it, then give it a big thumbs up or maybe a comment or subscribe to my new YouTube channel, Vibes from Shrives. The link will be in the video description below and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you.